Yo, what's up, everybody? Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are watching me from. Today is a special day. Like I always tell you, today I'm going to talk about my experience with our banks in Nigeria today. It started last week. Like I said on the uh, last episode, it is our money that was kept in the bank. And now we are in need of our, of our money. The CBM policy in conjunction with federal government is not allowing, allowing us to have access to our money. Why is it like that? So today again, I went to the bank and what I saw at the bank is very, very disgusting. So I would like to just go straight so that you guys can see why. I'm out here talking about my experience and I would like to call on a special guest that I have online to please tell us if he has anything close or similar to what I had and what many Nigeria are saying about the new policy of new Nigeria denomination. Okay, everybody, let me just go straight without taking any of your time. Before further ado, let me give my guest phone call so that we just go straight to the point. One minute, everybody, as you can see, we have to do it. We have to do it. We have to do it. It's important we do it. It's important we do it because, okay. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Sorry, I'm calling you late. This is not what we agree on. My sincere apologies, sir. <laughs> Okay, okay, basically, basically, sir. Uh, sir, are you on the road, sir? Something is making no, noise. Not on the road. Okay, something is making noise. Oh, okay. Okay, you should. Oh, have... Okay, just a minute. Okay, okay. Just a minute, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay, how about now? Yes, it's better now. Better. Sir, like I oh. always ask many of my people that has come here to join me on the live program i want to say sincere appreciation for you honoring this program and i pray that may god almighty honor you as well Amen. thank so, you what i would like you to share your own knowledge about is my experience and many of the people that have came across experience as well. I'm speaking on their behalf. Since federal oh, government, okay. uh, CBN in conjunction with federal government, since they came up with their new policy on new Naira introduction, the introduction of new Naira, oh. denomination of 1,000 Naira, oh. 500 Naira, and 200 Naira. Many Nigeria has, has been complaining, but that's not where we are going. The policy okay. has been announced and there's nothing we can do to it than to just comply with their request. But of lately, many people are complaining on accessibility of having the money through the bank or through the ATM. Many people have been denied access to have the new denomination, and which has caused a lot of argument. But now, my experience for today, as I speak with you, I walk okay. to the bank so that I can withdraw money. Yes, I understood that the implementation of the uh, the how access to the 
money started maybe probably 29th but got in, getting to the bank i saw a lot of millions millions if i'm not exaggerating millions of people queuing on the screen now i i i, I capture just little video of what i saw and any bank you go to that's exactly what you see any bank this bank that i went to is my bank so i capture my experience that people could see it but other banks is worse so i give kudos to my bank uh, because i'm using their image right here i give kudos because it's not okay. as crowded compared to other banks so now when i got there i saw many many people you know atm no matter how fast is ATM, you have to be on queue for one hour, you know, depend of how many people you met on ground. So now uh -huh. I decided to, because I don't have time, time is money. I decided to go into banking or to do my transaction. Getting to the banking or what they told me is that they could only give me 5,000 Naira. And what they have, the denomination they have is 50-50 Naira. And the money I needed is more than 5,000 Naira. But they told me, they give me an option that I can do transfer. So what I did, I asked them to give me form so I can do transfer. They give me form, I did transfer. Now, what, because I went outside to meet the people on queue, I asked them, is this oh. machine paying? They said it's paying. I said, is it paying new note? They said, yes, it's paying new note. I asked them, how much can date be able to withdraw the said 20,000 Naira? So I'm now, I began to worry that if it's only 20,000 Naira, we can, we have access to withdraw in a day. And in the situation whereby we need 30,000 Naira, which is above 20,000 Naira, what do we do? And there are some people that don't have bank accounts that we need to transact business with. Probably, maybe oh. those people, they are the only one, they are the only one that has the material or the stock or the product that we need. I think that will slow down the way we do business in Nigeria. And I believe that anybody that is doing any form of business, they are contributing to the GDP of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Because any transaction you do with anybody, you are exchanging money and you are helping the growth of the country. That's what I believe. Now, yeah. if, if they are kind of giving us, slowing us down in the way we do business, economy may not move forward. I understand that the policy in the long run, it will help everybody. But I don't think Nigeria, we are mature to that level because local markets, many people do not have this machine like P uh, POS that you can use to do transaction. And if that's not the yeah. case, business will be slowing down. So if the business is not moving the way it's expected to move, people will not be able to have enough turnover to really improve their living because everything, despite the way we are used to, things are hard, regardless of whatever business you are doing. Things are hard, which anybody can confess to. But now, this policy is, for me, is giving me a setback and how am I going to cope in a society is my challenge. And I asked many people, the complaint, their complaint is similar to mine. So I would like you to please, as a Nigerian, if by any way you have an idea of what I'm talking about, or you don't even understand or that thing has not affected you. The new CBM policy, if it has affected your business or affected your lifestyle, so I would like you to say whatever you know about it. Thank you, sir. Over to you.
Um, my name is Ola. You can refer to me as Ola. Thank you, sir. Good evening to you and um, all listeners. Uh, what I'm going to say as regards this policy is that I'm also affected, just like every other Nigerian out there is affected. Uh, well, I, uh, we may say the policy is probably um, is good. Uh, for security, sometimes, you know, countries after a while, they tend to change their currencies, you know, to new currencies. It is not something that is, um, um, you know, limited to, to Nigeria. It is a global practice. And then, um, it's something, you know, that all other countries do. However, uh, I feel this policy is still time. It is coming at a time that um, Nigerians are going through um, hardship and difficult uh, period. Uh, for me, I feel rather than rather than. Um, I feel the policymakers are talking about the CBN and the federal government have other motives behind behind you know this policy or implementation of this policy at this time than you know uh, uh, curbing corruption, if I would say, uh, uh, because. When, 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 when you see the people groaning and uh, regards a particular policy, like I said, the government will try to sit down and probably review okay, what can we do, you know, to elevate the situation, the present situation. For me, money has become very scarce. Uh, you find out that they said, yes, there has been an extension. But well, you find out that, yes, before the, the previous deadline, which was meant to be tomorrow, or which, which is supposed to be tomorrow, uh, has been extended. But however, you know, you look at it that they said the deadline will be tomorrow. And up till about, you know, last week Friday, you still go to the banks. And once you get, are the old notes. You use the ATMs, what you get are the old notes. They're not getting the new notes. The new notes are not available. So it makes life difficult. You know, there are a lot of people that are transacting business by cash. Some of them don't even want to collect. You know, they are confused because they don't even know what to do. So a lot of people, in order to be on the safe side, have decided to just, you know, hold on with whatever business transactions that they have, you know. So for me, I think um, this period, it has caused a lot of hardships for Nigerians, you know, for the common man on the street. I don't know, for the, I don't know about the rich people, but I want to believe that they too, they are going through, you know, some of these difficulties as the hard cry out there. I would have expected that if the government would come up with something like this, you know, there should be half the time. For me, I think um, <clears throat> um, 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 the approach that the government is taking at this time, it's um, um, a bit um, harsh. Let me, put that way. Let me put it that way. It's kind of harsh. To everybody. So, and when you say you are trying to, you are trying to, you are trying to um, make the system to be to for people to adapt or for people to adopt the um, cashless policy, let me put it that way. In reality, our online platforms are they in the best, um, the best shape? At the moment, for example, let me give you an example of what happened to me. You know, just today, I I I, I was meant to do a transaction, 
And um, I went into my mobile banking and tried to do the transaction. They told me, um, sorry, the system is unavailable. Some people make the trans these transactions with me and they make transfers into my account. And I was waiting for Allah to come in. Allah didn't come in. And I decided, okay, let me check my mobile app and online app. It wasn't, it wasn't working. We had to wait for hours, two, three hours to see if this thing was gonna, was gonna, well, if I was gonna get any alert or something. Or if perhaps I was going to be able to get, uh, the answers needed via my mobile app. But sincerely, it was not coming up for almost two, three hours. The time that I would have used for other valuable things, I was waiting. We were waiting, not myself alone, with the other guy. We, were, we had to wait to see what is going on. I mean, to confirm the transaction so that, you know, every other person can depart. But we couldn't, do, we couldn't, we couldn't go our way. We had to wait there to see. Eventually, what happened? I called the customer care. The customer care could be of help. And they told me their system, the, 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 the systems were down as well at their hand. There was nothing they could do. And I was shocked that what kind of country is this? And yet, we are talking about cashless policy. What happened? Eventually, we had to get, we had to go to the bank. We had to drove almost a hundred kilometers to, 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 to the bank to confirm the transaction. You know, it was at the bank that we were, so even when I got to the bank, the person I saw was still telling me that way. She wants to try. To see if it's going to work because the system, the, the system, the, the all systems were also down. But fortunately, she was able to confirm the transactions for me, and that was, you know, when um, all parties could um, would depart. Just imagine time wasted, time that could have used for other valuable things. So I would say we are going into the cashless policy. Sincerely or truthfully, let's ask ourselves: Are we really prepared? Are our banks truly pre prepared for all these things? You want to make an immediate tra um, transfer on your phone. Even if you are successful during the transfer, the other party will tell you that I've not been able to get your transaction. So therefore, you know, we cannot, we cannot conclude or we cannot close the deal. So what is, um, what is, what is, what is, what is, um, the benefit, you know, in all this, transformation or, or upgrade or whatever, or, you know, shifts in systems. What benefit is, 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 is it to us? When simple things have become very difficult mm. for us to do. Mm. So it's really, it's really giving us concern. And when you look at this period, this is a period whereby it's, it's, and the first scarcity is even bad enough. Yes, yes. Mm. It's bad enough not to not not to not have sought to injury by you know bringing up this cashless policy again. Wrong so Nigerians are going through a lot of difficult times this period. I feel that the government should have been more sensitive in their approach, you know, um, as regards all these um, all these um, lingering issues. You know, in my, in my, in my own opinion, I may be wrong, you know, to some other people, but being, um, from my own experience, you know, that is the way I feel actually. Hmm. So, uh, uh, I think, um, you know, that's, that's what I feel as regards this topic tonight. Hmm. Thank you so much, yeah. sir. That's exactly what I expected to hear because I like when I see people telling me their experience and I share my experience as well. Yeah. I now began to realize yeah. that almost every one of us go through the same thing. So meaning that their policy needs to be looked into properly, deeply, so that they can hear from the consumers like us so that if there's any adjustment they need to make, they will go ahead and do mm. that. And please, this is yes. this this is an addition to the topic. 
because I also thought that if they said we are limited to to uh, many, is it limited? The right word that we all can only get two hundred uh, yeah, 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 thousand yeah, limit. Li limit. Twenty thousand uh, maximum limit. Limit. Thank you so much. Now, if that's the case, what do you think about people that love the party goer, the people that spray at the party? You know, sometimes they spread they, they spread million to make you, maybe to a musician um. or to celebrant. So, and especially the people that are into the business of exchange notes, the new notes, maybe the uh, what do you call these new notes? New notes. If if, if you have yeah. new notes, it, it doesn't it won't switch spray such money. Yeah. You, mm, so, true. so now, what do you think the people in the that kind of business? Do you think there's any opportunity at all for them now? And the people that are used to spray to express themselves, mm. are they not being cut out? Uh, uh, by by kind of style, and I would like to also include. I'm not throwing jab here, but it's funny. The musician, most musician, they can give you free show, open on the money they are going to spray them. So mm. does that mean that they will not be able to get enough money at the party? So what do you think? What's your view on that? Well, number one, I think uh, we have about three, three questions and uh, three particular set of people. Those exchanging money, one, those, um, the celebrants, you know, that are being spread as well as, um, and thirdly, the musicians. Okay, let me start from the money changers exchange. Well, that for me is, um, I feel it is illegal. Uh, and it is very wrong. You know, when, when some people turn currencies into business, they are probably part of the, uh, part of the problem because before the introduction of even the new currencies, it's very difficult for you to get, uh, uh, I'm talking about when we were still using the old currencies now. Okay. It was even difficult for you getting, uh, new notes. Yes. On the banks, and you keep wondering when you go to the bank that okay, you needed you know the tell you is not available, and then at uh, the passes you see that these new notes are very available for those that are doing business with it. And you know, for me, it's not it's I have always had a problem with that. Even though sometimes you do not have a choice when you mm -hmm. go to parties and to hold on the celebrations, you just when you don't have um. Um, you know, you just have to find a way around to, you know, whatever you have to do to get, you know, so you can spread the celebration. So, like I said, me, I've not, I've never been a fan of that because it's crazy. I'm changing money and they are, they are billing me to change, you know, the same money. The same amount, yes. You know? Mm. The, same, the same amount. They are also billing me, you know, so I feel, um, I feel it is, it is irritating. That's that. So I'm not, I don't have any pity for them. I don't have any pity for them. Even as of now, as of now, with the introduction of the new currencies, when you still go to party, you still sit down with the new currencies, the new currencies that you can't even, you, 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 some of us have never seen some of these new currencies. Yes. For example, for me, I've never seen the new 200 naira. I've yes, only I've seen the 500 naira and the 1000. I've not seen But I've not seen the 200 naira. Yes, I've not seen it too. Yes. So, and then you go to parties and you begin to see them, they tell you, for you to change 20,000 naira, you pay 10,000 naira. Isn't that, isn't that badness? Bad. Crazy. <laughs> That's bad. That's really bad. 5, so, naira, I don't have any... Naira. Somebody said, if I need 5,000 naira, I'll pay 7,000 yeah. naira. I pick risk. So, mm. so it, it doesn't make sense for me. And, you know... Um, <clears throat> It's still the bankers, you know, that the bankers are still at um, those to blame because they are the ones that know how these currencies get to these people. So that's that. I don't have any pity for them. It's a fizzle out of business. 
So for the sunny France, well maybe now, many people will probably have to be to be to be using checks or maybe um transfers transfers to to the celebrant and then maybe you can just roll the paper your transfer slip you can probably roll you can roll them in an envelope that's a great idea to the celebrant. So, that's a great idea so when the celebrant yeah when the celebrant sees it he knows that okay this one is from social person and you know so maybe we are like, getting towards towards that <coughs> towards that um, phase, you know, in our in our nation. Mm. Uh, uh, and um, for the and, um, that is not that is not that is not, that is not to say that is not to say that people will still not have money to spread. Of course, the currency will be available, but it's just that you may not be able to spread those bundles in large quantities okay, again. Okay, good. Understand? Good, good. Yes. So you may not be able to spread those bundles in the in large quantity, but like I said, like I mentioned, that will not stop you from giving your terminal IR check mm. to the celebrant if mm. you want to keep. Mm. That will not stop you from probably giving your terminal IR transfer to the celebrant. Okay. And then you probably squeeze the you need to hold the slip into an envelope and do the celebrant, you know. So the celebrant can know that, okay, this terminal that came in, came in from, you know, um, a particular person, yeah. Came in from Mr. Dimeji. Okay. So, uh, that's it. and then for the musicians or for the artists, you know, that are dressing the occasion, well, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Because that might be a bit difficult. But like I said, it, it, they will still spread them. It might not just be in the usual bundles that they give to them. So maybe the, the, the people that are spraying the guests, maybe they might still, you know, use the check as a form of, as a form to, to, Support and to order the musician. Mm. Mm. And appreciate the musicians. Yeah. So, but uh, this is the policy of worry. So, uh, 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 it's it's also possible that after the title of worry, since we change, the incoming president or whoever comes in, comes in, mm. might be a bit flexible. Okay. Might be a bit flexible mm. and um, and um, and uh, manage the situation. What? You know better than. The way we have presently, so that is what I feel as regards, you know. Fingers um, crossed, then. Fingers crossed. Let's be hopeful that things no, may. No, no, fingers mm. crossed. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Ah man, lovely time with you, sir. I love the fact that you mentioned mm -hmm. the idea about the transfer slip. Because I never mm, thought okay. of it. As a, it's a very great idea. Once you get the person's account number, you do your transfer, whether yes. POS or wherever, however, then you just mm -hmm. let the person have the slip to confirm that this is exactly where this money is coming from. And to also confirm that yes. he received the money by giving the person yes. the proof that you did this. Because sometimes when you do transfer, if you assume the person received the transfer and is hanging somewhere in the bank, it happens. Mm. I remember a transaction mm. did yes. somebody for over before the around uh, December night. The person said the money did not get to. We are still battling that thing. So I love mm. that idea mm. that you okay. said. Give maybe put in an envelope. The proof of payment is very important. The person received yeah. it. So that you don't just mm. dash uh, bank or money let money out and the person does not uh, and they don't know where the money came from. I think I understand. I love that part. I love that part. So thank you so mm -hmm. so much for your time. I really appreciate this. I'm happy and I'm honored. Thank I will, you for having me. Thank you I for having me. I'm honored as well. I will go to sleep with my eyes closed. I will enjoy my because having. 
a personality like yourself, I'm grateful and I'm honored. So let me Thank give you, you a very you. applause here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day, sir. Regards to family, sir. Um, thank you, and you too. Have a wonderful night rest. And to the listeners, have a good night. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. This is a lovely conversation. I enjoy myself, and I want to urge everybody, please, always continue to support this channel. Like us on Facebook, comment, share. It's very important to share because what we are trying to, you know, pass around is to educate one another whatever angle you think we could have you know cover and we didn't cover it let your comment get to us so that we can learn and improve and i also believe that by sharing other people will appreciate and benefit from this until i come your way again have a good night rest everybody i'm giving every one of you this Good night, Nigeria, our country. Bless you all.